Skoda's idea of a performance mid-sized SUV is different to many other rival brands, and more appealing for that. The Kodiak VRS, now featuring petrol power, sells for the kind of money that could alternatively buy you a faster premium badged crossover. But this seven-seat check contender delivers more character, more space and family flexibility, more traction, more equipment, more of just about everything really. None of which would matter if this wasn't a really credible piece of performance engineering. But rather surprisingly, it actually is. In place of the previous bi-turbo 240 PS 2 litre TDI diesel, the Kodiak VRS now uses the VW Group's familiar 2 litre TSI petrol power plant, the same one offered by lesser Kodiaks with 190 PS, but here tuned up to 245 PS. The 62 miles an hour sprint uh, occupies just 6.6 .6 seconds. That's 1.1 seconds quicker than the 190 PS 2 litre TSI model can manage. And it's also only half a second faster than the old diesel VRS. Various drive modes are on offer and thanks to the standard adaptive damping, uh, those settings influence ride quality as well as steering feel, throttle response and the change timings of the DSG Battleshift Auto Gearbox which is necessary to harness the twin turbo power plant's prodigious grunt. Uh, plus there are huge brakes and proper off-road capability too, including a selectable snow mode. In addition, you can now tow a trailer weighing up to 2.5 tonnes, so it's all very practical. Skoda has dressed the Kodiak VRS carefully to match its premium performance station in life. So there are eye-catching 20-inch Sagittarius alloy wheels along with red VRS badges on the nose and tail. Plus, there are sleeker bumpers front and back, big bore dual exhaust tips and gloss black finishing for the roof rails, the wing mirrors, the window frames and the front grille. Inside you get carbon fibre trim and the obligatory sport steering wheel plus aluminium pedals and sport seats upholstered in grippy Alcantara fabric. There's a standard 9.2 inch uh, centre dash infotainment touchscreen and Skoda includes its 10.25 inch virtual cockpit digital instrument binnacle. As with any other Kodiak, the second row bench reclines and it can be slid back and forth through 180 millimetres. And this car retains its third seating row, the kind of thing that some performance SUVs dispense with. Out back there's 270 litres of luggage room with all three rows in place, or 765 if you fold the third row and push the second one forward. It's 2005 litres if you fold the second row too, so yes, this is about as practical as performance cars tend to get. A big bore petrol unit paired to a near two ton curb weight isn't a recipe for particularly efficient running costs. Uh, Skoda's official figures tell us that this car uh, will manage an official WLTP combined cycle economy figure of up to uh, 32.5 miles per gallon. That is actually quite close to the old diesel model's 35.3 mpg and a WLTP rated CO2 reading of up to 198 grams per gallon. Per kilometre. Skoda's VRS model line dates back to an Octavia with that badge, launched in uh, 2001, featuring a 1.8 litre turbo petrol engine with 180 horsepower. At the wheel of this modern interpretation of what VRS branding can mean, it's instructive to consider how things have advanced since. Though the Kodiak VRS weighs far more than the old Octavia did, and it can stow far more luggage and seat two extra people inside, it's no more expensive to run and it gets to 62 miles an hour over a second quicker. The formula here doesn't really add up on paper, but in the metal, I think the right kind of family buyer might rather like it.